Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is gonna be another what I eat in a day. I said I was gonna do four this month, so I'm gonna do four this month. This is my second installment of what I eat in a days this month. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't seen the first one that I did this month or just like my whole playlist of what I eat in a day to lose weight videos, I'll have the playlist linked down below. I have so many videos that I've done over the past couple of years and there's so many different recipes because I try as best as I can to not repeat things. So you guys can get a ton of different recipes for weight loss or just like healthy meals in general. So if you wanna check those out, Again, I'll have the playlist linked down below. But if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. We just hit 310,000, which I seriously can't believe. So make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here and this is the first video that you're seeing of me. And also don't forget to subscribe to my main channel, which is called Molly's Life, where I upload like lifestyle videos, vlogs, anything that doesn't have to do with fitness is on that channel. And then all my fitness related content is over here. So make sure to go check out that channel because we just hit like 26K, we're almost at 27. I really wanna hit 30K. So go check out that channel if you haven't yet. But yeah, I guess let's just get into it. We have a lot of good recipes in this video and I'm super hungry, so let's get to making breakfast. So this normally never happens, but for breakfast this morning, I was craving something sweet. And since this never happens, I decided I would capitalize on it. Also, today is Sunday, so I feel like on Sundays I'm a little bit more, you know, relaxed, go with the flow. So we're gonna make protein pancakes. Never shown this before on my channel. I've only made them one time before this, but they were amazing. This right here is the protein pancakes that I'm gonna be using. I got these at my local grocery store. Has 16 grams of protein per serving. And not that you guys can read that, but it's super simple to make these. All you have to do is just add water, so I love that. I think I'm gonna top the pancakes with strawberries, but add blueberries into them when they're on the pan, because I love when blueberries get nice and warm. So the serving size on these is about half a cup up, and since I'm just making them for myself, that's all I'm gonna use. I would bake these for Fab, but he doesn't like pancakes, waffles. He's a picky guy. Then you just have to add in a little bit less than half a cup of water. Gonna mix this together with a fork. You guys could also add chocolate chips or jimmies, whatever you like. Gonna spray the pan with a little bit of pan. I only have a little bit of this left. Okay, so I made four. I should have done two like semi big ones, but I did four little ones instead. <laughs> now I'm just gonna drop in. Okay, that was like a fail. You guys, it's hard to do on camera, but I'm just dropping in some blueberries. Hey, and I guess we'll just wait a couple minutes or so to flip them. In the meantime, over here, I'm just gonna slice up these strawberries nice and thin so we can add them as a topping on top. Obviously, it's a topping. I don't think I've had strawberries in so long, so I'm so excited about this. And also, four strawberries was like the perfect amount because I feel like it looks like so much when you cut it up so small, but it's really only four strawberries. All right, this was the first one that I made over here. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. They're finally done. Just for reference, if you guys do make these, I kept them at a low heat the whole time so that way you don't have the chance of them burning. You can go ahead and top it with all your fruit. Then the last step is adding some of the coconut nectar on top. But I'm gonna try. This is like so thick, by the way. As you can see, it literally takes like a million seconds to come out, which is kind of nice because you can like perfect the glaze here. So totally mad at myself for messing up over there in this corner, but other than that, this looks amazing. I'm so excited. The blueberries are just like so warm and kind of melted. And then you have the strawberries and the syrup. You guys, like I said, you could also add chocolate chips to this if you're more of a chocolate chip person rather than a blueberry person. I'm honestly just like really proud of myself. I feel like this looks so good. Ah, I'm so excited. Hi guys, so I'm interrupting today's What I Eat In A Day video because I'm actually super excited. Today's video is sponsored by Poshmark, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about Poshmark. It's an amazing app where you can sell and purchase 
um, things from other people's closets. So it's a good way to clean out your closet. I actually just went through all of my workout clothes because I'm going to be selling a ton of those on there. I figured I would sell workout clothes because you know you guys are interested in fitness so make sure to click the link down below to download Poshmark and start your own closet I'm gonna show you guys real quick I laid like everything out right here that I'm gonna be listing on my Poshmark and by the time you guys see this video it'll be up on there and my username is Molly Bales I've been selling like so much stuff recently so make sure to go check it out but I'll show you guys a sneak peek right now okay so here's everything I picked out minus my little slides over there I actually even have some adidas shoes that I literally never got a chance to wear I got them from urban I have a couple sports bras like this one from Aerie this one from Victoria's Secret this one is from Target this is a really cute champion hoodie i actually cropped this myself but it's like actually really cute i got this from urban these are two pairs of leggings i believe these ones are from airy these ones are from victoria's secret i have two pairs of forever 21 leggings i honestly don't even think i wore these much at all but they're so cute they say do it today on them so these are the same leggings just one in black and one in gray i used to wear these all the time my favorite victoria's secret leggings i love the colors on them these ones are from Airy, And then lastly, these ones are from Athleta. They're a little bit more cropped than all the other ones. And they're so soft and spandexy. Like, I used to wear these so, so, so much. I just haven't been wearing them that much recently because I've got a lot of new stuff since then. But yeah, these are amazing and such nice quality. Like, whoever gets those, you're one lucky girl. I figured I'd also show you guys what the Poshmark app even looks like if you've never seen it before. So you can kind of scroll through a feed. Like, look at these nike sneakers that i just saw in my size honestly i want these so bad and they're only 50 dollars. they have like cheetah prints on them i literally this was not planned you guys i just saw these on my feed and now i'm like in love with them so it's super easy to shop other people's closets a lot of times i like things so that way i can go back to my likes later and then like purchase them if i want to and if you go on my closet here's what my page looks like so i definitely still had some other things listed on here i've sold a lot of stuff i have 43 listings i don't really know how many things i have left to sell but like a lot of my stuff down at the bottom down here is all sold already and i already shipped all those things out so i'm definitely going to go ahead and take pictures of all of these things now and list them so that way you guys can easily shop them i think all these pieces are so cute i just have way too much stuff that i can't wear it all it's not possible so that's why i'm happy for one of you guys to be able to purchase these things and get some good use out of them because they're all such nice items like i said i just don't get a chance to wear them so thank you so much to poshmark for sponsoring this video i've actually been using the app for so long so i'm so excited to be working with them today it feels like a dream come true so thank you to them don't forget to check out the link in the description box and now let's get on to our lunch recipe so it's a little bit early for me to be making lunch because i literally just finished my breakfast but fab and i are going to be out for like the next couple of hours and normally when we do stuff like that I end up getting like Taco Bell or something but I'm trying to be good you guys and like use the foods that are in my fridge because I hate when I don't I feel a lot better when I just make food myself so we're gonna make like a little to go lunch and I just want it all clearly as you can see from this assortment here so I have some eggs right here I'm gonna hard boil them I'm just waiting for the water over here to finish boiling then we have wheat thins we got grapes a red pepper some hummus clementine and then this laughing cow cheese i don't know why i just really wanted laughing cow cheese with some wheat thins so we're gonna make like a little bento box i believe is what it's called it's kind of like they sell similar things like this at target places like that so we're gonna make our own in here i got these little meal prep containers if you guys haven't seen my most recent meal prep video i used them in that video but i have a bunch of them so i'm just gonna make Quick little assortment here for lunch that I can snack on throughout the day while we're out. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I just cut up some of this red pepper because I figured I could dip some of the red pepper in the hummus as well. Not really normally a fan of raw peppers, but trying to get out of my comfort zone here and like work with different vegetables throughout the days. Here's all my fresh eggs. The water is just starting to boil. I think I'm gonna do three because to be honest, I feel like Fab is gonna want one. And if I only make two, then I would only have one. So if I want two, I should make three. So that way I can have two. Does that make sense? If you have a boyfriend, you 
you know what I'm talking about. They just love eating anybody's food. Foggy, okay, we'll let them do their thing for a little while. So I just peeled my clementine. I am getting so ahead of the game right now while I wait for the eggs to be done. And then also over in this container, I'm kind of just like debating what I wanted to put the hummus in because I feel like if I just put a glob of it in there, that could end badly. So I have these little containers or they're not so little. It's kind of big, bigger than I would want, but this is from Anthropology. So I think I'm gonna put the hummus in here so that way it just doesn't, you know, contaminate all the fruits and things that I don't want hummus on. Okay, so it took me a second there, but I finally, um, what do you, what would the term be? Deshelled all of these eggs? I don't really know, let's see. Oh yeah, I did a perfect job, <laughs> at least on this one. All right, so now that we have all of this done, the prep work is all finished. Now we just have to figure out how to fit everything into this container. All right, so somehow, some way, magically, I fit everything inside of this box. It's a little bit crammed, not gonna lie, but it works. I'll probably add before I leave some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on top of these, but for now, I'm just gonna put this in the fridge have it all ready to go for when I leave later on. So we got the clementine, wheat thins, hummus, laughing cow cheese, red pepper, grape, and three boiled eggs. All right guys, so we're finally on to dinner. I'm really excited about this. I saw this recipe on Pinterest. I've made like stuff similar to this before. Okay, look at this. I literally just fed her and she knows that her food is in this cabinet. So she's trying to open it. You just ate. Anyways, I've made recipes similar to this before, but never this specific recipe. I've been seeing this recipe float around Pinterest for the longest time, and I've always wanted to try it. So I kind of tweaked a little bit of things in it, but it's gonna be a chicken fajita soup. So we'll see how this goes, you guys. Here's all the ingredients, though. We have fire roasted diced, if it would focus, fire roasted diced tomatoes. I got the garlic flavored ones, but you know, whatever ones you can find. You're gonna need some sort of fajita mix, some chicken breast, brown rice, chicken broth, one or two bell peppers, a red onion, and corn. Another thing that you could add into this is beans, but I'm not the biggest bean person, so I'm gonna choose to opt out of that, but if you do like them, you can add them in. I'm just, <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not because I don't really like beans. First thing I'm doing though, you guys can barely see it, but there's a ton of water in here and I'm just waiting for that to boil because we're gonna boil the chicken first and then shred it. So, gotta wait for the water to boil. Okay, quick update. I did end up cutting the whole red onion, the whole orange pepper, and a yellow pepper too. It was a small yellow pepper. Actually, both of the peppers honestly were pretty small, but I did end up cutting all three up because, I don't know, I just felt like there wasn't enough without it. Oh no, I'm like dropping some. This prep is all complete. We have the chicken cooking up in here. You can barely see it, but it's boiling right now. It should only take maybe like 10, 12 minutes. It's really thin chicken, so it doesn't take that long. I'm gonna turn the heat up on this, keep it at like a level three. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I just added that into the pan. Then taking that cutting board full of veggies, Gonna add all of that in, this is a lot. Here's what it looks like inside the pan. It looks beautiful, all these colors, the purple, the yellow and the orange, it looks really pretty. Okay, now while it's still at a low heat, I'm gonna add the lid back on and wait for these to get a little bit softer. So my countertop is getting real messy, but I'm in the middle of shredding up the chicken. I'm almost done. I didn't show this part because it's literally the most tedious thing in the world. I just like hold it with the knife and then shred it with the fork. I do this when I make buffalo chicken dip too, which by the way, you guys have been requesting a what I eat in a day cheat day and it's coming soon, I swear. Probably gonna have a cheat day like next week or something, so you guys will get that video very soon, don't worry. But in the meantime, we're making healthy meals. So we got the shredded chicken right here going on and then I cleaned the pot that the chicken was in, waiting for this to boil. I have about a little over half a cup of this basmati brown rice. I just chose to do basmati brown, but you can just do regular brown rice if that's what you wanna do. Okay, so I totally just realized when I was looking over the recipe that you need eight cups of chicken broth, but I only have this one thing of it. So I luckily had some vegetable broth in my fridge. So I used up the vegetable broth and then I'm gonna use this whole thing of chicken broth. So I already put 
the vegetable broth in there. Hopefully it's okay. I, I think it will be. I think it'll be fine. Now I'm gonna add in a ton of corn. It didn't have corn in the recipe that I saw online, so I'm just kind of adding how much ever I want. And the last two things I have to add into the soup besides the rice is the fire roasted diced tomatoes and the fajita seasoning. So I'm gonna probably add about half of this in and this full can. Okay everyone, so I just put some of the soup into the bowl. I didn't put that much, I'll probably have a couple servings because look at how much I made. It's not focused, but look at how much I made. I may have gone a little bit overboard, but that's okay because I'll have extra throughout the week. I've been tasting it like from this pot while it's just like marinating a little bit and it tastes so good. So I'm so excited to have this as like a quick thing that I can heat up during the week and it was so easy to make. But I'm gonna go ahead and have my bowl of soup and that concludes what I'm gonna have for dinner and the whole what I eat in a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these new fun recipes. I had so much fun filming today's what I eat in a day. All the recipes turned out so good and they're totally different from things that I normally show on my channel. It's not different from things that I make necessarily, but just different from what I've shown in my what I eat in a day videos so far. Don't forget to check the link in the description box down below to start your own closet and sell your clothes or shop other people's closets. I'll have it linked down below and my username again is Molly Bales if you want to purchase any of those workout clothes that I showed in that little clip. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon.